Yeah, welcome. Right, we have had a lot of people asking, they basically don't know a great deal, so can we go through certain things? So, first thing up, carburetor. So, this is your carburetor. Okay, very, very few get cleaned as we see them come in. Generally comes with this, so you'll need a 19 mil. So, basically guys, just keep it clean. So, uh, a lot of you would be buying bucket loads of carburetor cleaner, don't use it. Uh, what you want to use is brake cleaner. Doesn't leave a film across the car. So what we'll do, we'll go through, strip in it and rebuild in the car. Then show you some things perhaps you should be aware of. So tools wise, 12 mil, big set pliers, four mil. Oh, you can see the rest of it on there. So let's kick off and go through. So we'll move it all to one side and then we'll go through the carb. So you would have normally the 19 mil which would be this guy sitting on the top. So you take that off, check to see cracks. Invariably, you see the odd one with a crack around the top here. So it won't seal properly. You get a leak at the bottom of the float valve chamber. Even. So four mil T-bar, let's take off the float chamber. So float chambers, keep them clean. Invariably, if you're going to stick them in an ultrasonic, make sure you've got some oxidizing uh, fluid in there. Otherwise, they're going to come out pitch black. So here's the screws out. Check the little washers. Don't lose the little washers around the side. So look inside. Check that. Yeah, we're good. we are no cracks in there. Floats. Now, if you take out one of these floats and it's got some petrol inside, there's nothing you can do. So just throw that away and that's been done. That leaves you with the innards of what you can see inside the carb now. So let's be careful. Let's take off the gasket. If you don't have a gasket set, you can, if you take that off carefully enough, you'll be able to reuse it. So this little tool came out from Rotax a couple of years ago. A lot of people got caught out by scrutineers of testing, checking, making sure that we can see some light through the paddle. So this is what we've got. What do we do? Let's take off main jet. Main jet and bell housing. That's off. Let's remove the paddle. So a big set of pliers onto the pin with some energy and pull that off. Check the paddle. Look after the paddle. Keep this paddle clean. This is one of the most important things inside your carb to give you performance. So that's off. Needle. Now, invariably, if you put a carb back together, you blow through and you do not get any fuel that goes into the carb. This is generally got stuck in the bottom of here. So take this out, have a look inside, make sure you clean what's inside there out. So this is where you need a nine mil. So an off-the-shelf 9mm socket generally won't work. So you need to machine it down like this one at the front. So 9mm. That's it, we're off. That leaves us in here a small paper type washer. Be careful of that one. Take off the main. Okay, we're nearly there with disassembling of the carb. Now just be careful of these, use the right size screwdriver so you don't damage the threads that you've got. It's only brass, soft metal. Put these to one place. Last one. That's off. And inside you have the smallest of emulsion tubes. So, very, very small, very gently, just turn, take that off. Now this is where, when this comes out, you want to clean this one up on the sides. You don't want these threads getting caught. That thread getting caught in there, that will go back in, but that won't come back out. So, this is where we are. Tube off. We won't take the Venturi out. Um, it'll take too long for you guys to set up and it's unless you've got experience of doing the Venturi 
that is difficult to do. And then if you don't have special tools like that for the Venturi, that to being able to adjust the Venturi to give you the best fuel flow, you're going to get yourself in a whole heap of problems here. Okay, so on the side, 12 mil. We've seen carbs come in two years old and they've never been apart. This part here, we've seen have never ever been checked. So if you're not filtering your fuel, you're going to look at this guy and that is going to be caked up completely. Now, check this anyway, because the new carbs do not come through with this filter on. So if you're unfiltered, if you're not filtering your fuel, you've got nothing in line. All you're going to do is just fill that up with crap completely in there. Choke. Just remove the choke, flathead screwdriver, pull it up, pick the screw out, just pull the choke straight out. That's where we are. So you've got two parts left. You have this part on a spring, two parts to set up. So what critical inside these carburetors is the paddle, which we'll come back to later when we put this together, and this little guy here. Now I'm not going to show you exactly how many turns that is, but you know, take your carb apart when you're doing it, see how many, wind it right in, mark it, and then see where you are as you take it apart. Uh, your engine builder, car builder, whatever you deem to call them, your Rotex service center, they will build that. They will have their own setup on how that is. So that's where we are. That comes out. And there is a little spring that comes out there. So that is, in essence, what we're left with. So this is going to get a good clean. If you've got a parts washer or an ultrasonic, up to you how you want to clean it. We use a hot parts washer and it goes, gets it clean. These guys will go in a hot parts washer. But for the time being, we will just use brake cleaner.